Peter Fosis, Delaware Dean. No problem. 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 Peter Fosis, Delaware Dean. Peter Fosis, Delaware Dean. No problem. Peter Fosis, Delaware Dean. Peter Fosis, Delaware Dean. No problem. Peter Fosis, Delaware Dean. Peter Fosis, Delaware Dean. No problem. Episode of Hungry Guys. Yep. Uh, getting yep. ready for you. Uh, me and me and the guys are coming together. We're pretty hungry. I'm hungry as fuck, dude. I could eat a whole yeah, protein. Exactly. Jam. So pretty much uh, got some uh, news updates. But first, we're gonna go into a little bit of a little bit of tiny uh, tiny sauce. Well, I've got so a tiny, sauce whipping up right now. A new sauce, and he's, he's whipping and I'm dipping he's, it. He's whipping it up. I'm he's whipping stirring it up. I'm you. just gonna dip it there a little bit, you know. Uh, yeah, sauce. You and know, he's dipping. Dip. Of course, I'm fucking dipping. You don't Apparently see me dipping. dipping so. You don't see me fucking dipping. Oh, I'm seeing. I dip can your see fucking you head in the fucking You're frying pan, you good, bro. This segment, entitled "Hungry Guys with Dan and On," has been edited due to explicit language and incomprehensibility. Omitted are senseless arguing and indiscernible exposition that vaguely relate to this podcast. Okay. Uh, All right. Track there. All right. Code 639.13.12 Delaware Dan Media Statute 69.420 Clause C, Paragraph 4. Podcast content should be indiscernible except when introducing new segments. You put a Another edition, Hungry Guys, about 7.40 a.m. and... Yeah, we're here in uh, Fuck with my sauce. the uh, Urbalkowitz residence, Fuck which, your uh, sauce. you know, uh, but a couple news updates, like I said, uh, get Delaware Dan, holy fucking shit, dude, this guy is fucking crazy. What the fuck crazy. are we talking okay. about this asshole for? Well, just fuck hear him. me out, hear me out. Fuck he's, him. He's fucking you nuts. Know, I can't believe you're going to waste down. the whole fucking show fucking talking about this down. fucking guy, Ryan. You know, this isn't... Tiny, I'm telling you, I'm fucking, I'm fucking, I'm fucking done. Fucking calm down. Fuck, Anyways, fuck him. okay. He's a douchebag wrapped in a soft burrito. Fuck him. Delaware Dan... He gets arrested earlier uh, 2020, right? Fucking schmuck. Uh, apparently he's on some drug binge with this guy, Benjamin. And they're doing drugs and getting nude and they're walking around. Dude, this shit is fucking crazy. Bunch of nude dudes walking around. He makes it back to Baltimore just fine. But then he goes back and something happens. He ends up under citizen's arrest. And uh, the only way we noticed is because this tape has surfaced. And we have the tape exclusive. We're going to play it. But before that, we're going to test a bit of Tani sauce. Because I think I think like Tani's got the this same time. It's about time we did the sauce. Good, I think I'm just about ready. I'm, I'm nice. I'm calm. You good? Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm good. I'm good. You, if you're good, I'm good. So here we go. Try it. Yeah, dribble it down your chin a little bit. There you go. Get the sauce all in there. Get it's the sauce, sauce up in there. In the roof of your mouth shit, and in your dude. nostrils. And Never had sauce like this. Before. Thank you. You know, it's a special. I'm Anyways, a sauce specialist. What God fucking say, dude? The this best thing about, uh, about hungry sauces. guys is we get to eat food and enjoy a delicious uh, scandal. So, Del or Dan. We got the sauce yeah. and scandal special. Fucking nuts, dude. Yeah. Anyways. No fucking shit. So, then we're catching up. Um, you know, apparently uh, some of the controversy regarding Delbert Dan is, um, you know, he had faked his death during COVID-19. I mean, what kind of fucking douchebag fakes God his own death? I, I mean, can't holy believe that shit. Holy fucking shit, shit dude. Holy shit. Shit is fucking fucked crazy, up. Fucked right? up, dude, yeah. Fucked so, up. Anyway, so Delbert Dan, he's missing. He's under citizen's arrest. He was under citizen's missing. arrest. We don't know anything. There's a there's a little bit of a I think of I an know inkling. What happened, there's a, one I name has I... been mentioned. Uh, but we're not 100% sure, and uh, our sources have verified that the name is uh, Ronald McDonald, uh, not to be confused with Ronald McDonald, um, but he's actually, this guy's been uh, co-writing his own podcast called McDonald on the Run, a uh, feature film coming out uh, next year, but they think that he's somehow involved with this whole thing. You don't think? We don't really know. So, anyways, our correspondence is, we got to go, but our correspondence is, we'll keep up. Thank you. Hungry guys. Hungry guys. Guys. 
Does your family suffer from the lack of sublime awareness of your own concept of male impotence only to realize it when undergoing the distinct laxative effects of looking at Donald J. Trump and his family? No problem. Call Del Dan at 302-666-420-69420 at, at gmail.com. Come on down, visit our, our offices in Harrington and Dover. No problem. Call Del Dan. Business hours are closed during COVID. Thank you. story of Delaware Dan, told through an assemblage of advertisements, motivational speeches, dietary advice, news snippets, and other forms of cutting-edge media. We now rewind to eight years prior. If you doubt it, just come in. Oh my, to see the justice is done, just ask Osama bin Laden. The year was 2011. A lot of things were changing in the world. Tsunamis, Bin Laden, Obama. Everything was changing. Especially the world of marketing was about to change which means it hadn't quite changed yet, but it was about to change because of Delaware Dan. It has recently come to my attention that I'm Delaware Dan. Warning Delaware Dan LLC is not responsible for any time inconsistencies and or inaccuracies regarding important Delaware Dan timelines. Chapter 1. The Origins of Delaware Dan. Alright, you know, there's a lot of people asking this question, you know, who is Delaware Dan? Who is Delaware Dan? Who is Delaware Dan? The mystery of Delaware Dan's true identity. Ask is Delaware Dan? Well, I, got a, I got one answer for you. To find out who Delaware Dan is, you gotta find out who Delaware Dan is not. There's a couple quick and easy ways to figure this out, and there's a lot of other ways that, you know, might take a little bit of elaboration and time to uh, fully describe, but for the sake of posterity, Delaware Dan was a young boy who took interest at a young age in marketing and went to college and was a good boy and did all his homework. And he got straight A's all across the board. And the thing about Delaware Dan is that he knew never to quit. That's the main thing. Never give up, never surrender. And through marketing, you can experience the type of personal liberation that you and your family are constantly seeking. Coming to me, and I keep trying to fucking tell you just what you got to do. It's not that not that difficult. You just got to listen to Delaware Dan. So, so the question is, is Delaware Dan being referred to in the third person, or is he me? And that's the confusing part. been some confusion as to who Delaware Dan actually is. And again, the 
fully understand who Delaware Dan is, you got to realize who Delaware Dan is not. Now, I am not here to contend that the audio clip that you just heard was not Delaware Dan or is Delaware Dan. It's a confusing question, to be honest. So we're going to go back and consider the first part of that, a little part of that. We're going to di dissect it. 78, a similar meaning to 69 here in Delaware. So what he, what's being referred to here, 278, is a road. Just the name of a road, 278, just like 95, 695, 69, Route 666. You know, all these different, Route 669, that's another one. If you're down in Florida, you know, so there's a lot of different, uh, you know, different roads. And if we rename the roads, then you'll truly know what being in Delaware is. There's not really much else to do except to rename the roads. And this is where Delaware Dan comes from. In a place where the only thing left to do is but rename the roads to things like 69, 420, stuff like that, cemetery road, things of the sort, then you got to realize that something like marketing is a very powerful tool for it fills the void that exists all across all of Delaware in America, honestly. So that's kind of where Delaware Dan comes from. Uh, co coming up next, we're going to hear some early uh, advertisements that were done pro bono, and they were done specifically for very specific things you and your family could need. Here's a little clip. Oops, sorry. sorry about that, folks. That was a... Uh, accidentally clip. Oh, it won't stop now. There's an accidentally clip of a schizophrenic man who was came into the recording session to announce a new announcement that was in a completely incoherent language. So we're going to go ahead and skip forward. Oh, here's a Zen. Thank you. This is a very Zen-inspired Delaware Dean. Thank you much for your patience. The people at Delaware Dean Incorporated would like to thank you and your family for one one hundred and twenty-nine years of loyalty. No Delaware Dean would never ever try to sell you your family. Oh, here we go. You and your family would literally. No Delaware Dean. Here we go. Delaware Dean. Coming up next, Delaware Dean. The real Delaware. Hey there, folks. You know who this is. It's Delaware Dan. Recently, it has come to Delaware Dan Incorporated's attention that there is another Delaware Dan that you may or may not have been hearing on the radio. This is an imposter. The real Delaware Dan would never, ever try to sell you and your family a car. The real Delaware Dan is here to help you and your family with literally anything that you need help with. Literally anything. For example, that's, that's going way back. That's going way back. Delaware Dan will always help you and your family with anything, especially this. Hey, members, you witnessed the embedding of a cat into the telephone pole outside of your house during last night's torrential downpour that resulted in several car accidents, which include the wreckage of a car belonging to the member of the prosecution committee that popped your grandfather away in prison during the Williamson sex crime scandals of 1955-1966. They call now. Delaware Dan is here to help you and your family at 302-499-6942, extension 421. So that's always been the Delaware Dan promise. Is that now? I understand that that advertisement is a little incoherent. We were short on time. Uh, I was actually embedded within another advertisement for something completely different, but we had to fit it all in the time. That's the magic of marketing. You can fit these little. You just say it real quick. It's the same thing as fine print. That's how you get them. That's how you get the people. You get them with the fine print, and they don't even know what they just agreed to because it's incoherent and honestly doesn't make any fucking sense. Hold on. Does your family suffer from an overwhelming amount of LinkedIn contact requests that secretly double as a society for consenting adults engaging in orgiastic ceremonies for the mentally unstable? No problem. Call Delaware Dan at 302-494-666-2969. So that's always been another thing about Delaware Dan is that any problem... I already said this. Okay, we're going to move on to the next segment. Does your family suffer from sudden head spin syndrome when listening to Vashti Bunyan on a roller coaster designed specifically for euthanasia? No problem. Call Delaware Dan, the Delaware Man, at 
496. And now a brief message from our sponsor, Bayview Bunky. Ian. Every day they're out there making Bayview a woo. Tales of daring do bad and good day yell woo. Danger lurks behind you. There's a stranger out to find you. Just grab onto some Bayview a woo. Every day they're out there making Bayview a woo. Tales of daring, bad and good. No ponytails or cotton tails. No baby, you a woo. You heard some sort of weird rumor trying to take care of some kind of problem? Well, guess what? I got the solution to all your problems. Come down to baby, you bunkies. Hey, uh, this is uh, Lionel Linkstrom, the uh, you know Liberty Loan Shark. I'm you know, one of a, a former spokesperson for Delaware Dan. I just want to say that this uh, this whole thing is just uh, it's really just a way for him to get more attention and votes and clicks and upvotes on it. You know, however however it works. So I mean, you know, let's do it at your own uh, discretion. That's fine. But you can give this guy more attention. Than he's already getting. I mean, he's really got nothing to say, and he's been saying this for quite some years now. And, and you know, as a you know, as right hand man for a long long time, and you know, personal aid, personal assist, and all that. Uh, you know, it's just not. A much of actual value that he brings to the community so you know I, I will say this though he, he's he's pretty adept at uh, finding ways in and out of reality uh, especially through words uh, words make reality and they're based off of intrinsic objective truth uh, however you bend the words and you bend the perception of reality which in a lot of people's minds bends the actual reality itself and I think that uh, you know Delaware Dan has been pretty uh, as I said adept at this sort of thing so you, you want to go ahead with that that's totally fine but I just want to say that you know he's exhibited some pretty unstable behaviors and I don't want this to necessarily reflect on anything that you know, might be at the essence of what he's getting to you know don't uh, don't shoot the messenger is what I'm saying uh, but you know long story short um yeah, you know, the next segment I'm going to be presenting because uh, you know again Delaware Dan has run off. We don't know if that was even him given the uh, given the actual presentation there. So I you know I may have just slipped up or I may not have. You know that's up to you to decide. I don't know what's real or what's not real. And you know just because you're hearing this on a podcast means that it must be real, right? So I mean you know therefore you believe me, Lionel the Liberty Loan Shark Linkstrom. Uh, you know I've been here uh, reporting since the beginning of this whole debacle earlier this year when you know Delaware Dan was arrested and uh, well you know he was being held but he ultimately was not charged for his public debauchery. He returned to uh, Baltimore, uh, where he was in exile, but he, when he comes back, um, you know, well, actually, we'll cross that bridge down the line. For now, I just want to share something with you. Um, this came out on uh, 2016. Uh, he was in a, he, there's a, a yearly, an annual festival at the Wawa, and uh, he makes an appearance in this next clip. clip, clip, clip. clip. <laughs> In the Wawa parking lot off of Route 276. Woo. All right, it's my that's one of my favorite Delaware Dan clips right there. It's so good. Uh, you really feel the energy, the audience, and you just the, you know, the heat rising up through the riffs and all that. And I just really, I just get filled with such a, emotional excitement. Uh, me and my boy Bayview Bunky, his name's actually Bunky, not Bayview. But anyways, you know. Every time we listen to that clip, we're getting drunk down to down to Inner Harbor. We're at the Bubba Gump Shrimp Company at the Inner Harbor, drinking mint juleps, 
oh my god it just it rouses my soul with such enthusiasm also there's a little uh, edit there it's supposed to be 278 which uh, previously mentioned by delaware dan should be renamed 69 um, we're returning to that clip only because we, we are jumping forward and backward in time, uh, you know, so we, all right, so we heard Delaware Dan's early clips, kind of where he comes from, he's an aspiring, uh, marketing guy, now he's transcending space and time, it's a big jump to make, you know, normally people, they do kind of like a tiered, you know, step-by-step -step process, be able to do stuff like that, instead he just, th right, straight through the marketing, boom, trans transcends through time and space ends up at hoogie fest which is a real festival so we're going to return back to this clip uh about uh featuring delaware dan hey, are we in the roads i like why we named the road Delaware Dean. Come on. Take my hand. Come on. 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 Come And that pretty much proves he's Delaware Dan, so continue to listen. 666, 69, Cemetery Road. Don't worry about the cemetery, it's very small. My, and it's empty. My grandpa built it for you and me. My grave shaped like a six, and your grave shaped like a nine. The holes, of, the grave holes. Shaped like a six, and your grave shaped like a nine. The holes of the grave holes. <laughs> Trust me, Delaware Dan. I and I deserve to know the secrets. That's I just that's why I deserve the name because I know all the secrets of Delaware. Delaware's a thousand years old. It's not going anywhere. You're safe here. And the truth is, De uh, Delaware is actually 1,069 years, and that was, uh, you know, obviously, uh, Delaware, I meant to say that when I was uh, speaking here at the presentation. And it's empty. My, my grandpa made it for us. My grave is... Two hundred pounds. My grave is in the shape of a fish. Please, two hundred pounds. Your grave is in the shape of a nine. One thousand. So anyway, but we can talk about that later. Thanks for coming. Uh, now, now. Has your family ever heard of Alcatraz? Alcatraz, Alcatraz, Captain Al Seal with the fishing cake. Alcatraz, Alcatraz, tow the boat to the end of the bay. Alcatraz, Alcatraz, I know we're gonna get out of here some way. We tell it where Dan before we die, we'll break out of jail. And live our lives. Thanks. Delaware Dan's next. Yeah! Hey there, folks. It's Delaware Dan with the public service announcement. If you and your family suffered from the AC Moore on Kirkwood Highway where years earlier you were caught... Oops! Does your family suffer from building a wall that represents your isolated awareness of parts of your life you'd rather ignore, such as deep-seated pent-up aggression due to fear, both repressed and realized, of sexual inadequacy, irrational jealousy, unchecked realizations of, of said fear of death, remorse for blowing up at the Hispanic grocery bagger at the Acme on Route 7, and other unchecked instances of deep-seated white supremacy that you play off as bleeding-heart liberals unsuccessfully attempting you into guilt, uh, and then when in fact you've only found more ways of not handling your social conditioning which in of itself has inherently accumulated eons of unvirtuous and regressive faults that intrinsically tie your own previously aforementioned feelings of sexual inadequacy, toxic masculinity, etc. to beliefs that are uh, xenophobic, nationalistic, and racist all while taking a urination break at the AC Moore on Kirkwood Highway where years earlier you were caught stealing plastic wrap that later you'd unsuccessfully use as a DIY condom, no problem. Call Delaware Dan, Delaware Dan, where the only 
uh, where the only wall exists, uh, where the only wall exists is the wall that you hit when speeding on your uh, very own vehicle. Thank you. Delaware Dan, vehicle of denial is what I meant to say. Speed, the, the wall, you hit the wall that you built, you fuckhead. Delaware Dan, call now. Got him. Peter Fox is still ordained with Peter Fox is still ordained So I have no idea where I'm going with this. Uh, this is uh, a new experience for me. Um, and I don't even know if any of this is making sense. I mean, it's not really designed to, but, um, you know, that's just kind of how these things go sometimes. Uh, you know, so I hope you're enjoying listening to it. Uh, I can say, at the very least, um, one or two things. Uh, the first is that, um, you know, just want to do a big shout out to any uh, supporters of this. You know who you are. I won't mention any names, Ben. Um, but, uh, and the second thing I will say is that uh, we can at least enjoy some nice, smooth jazz. Royalty free. I found this on Relax Music Meditation page. Um, it's no copyright. It's on, uh, you know, you can hear it at your local Starbucks. Um, they don't need to have the copyright to play it inside of the store, which is, I think, is just fantastic. Um, so, yeah, uh, kind of in more progressing the kind of linear story of Delaware Dan, which is non-linear, uh, we end up at... Um, you know, basically the third major installment, um, which should be considered random acts of comedy by Delaware Dan. And the thing is, they're not necessarily meant to be comedic. They're very serious uh, messages. So the thing is, you and your family, I don't know you or your family, and um, the thing with Delaware Dan is that he does. He knows everybody, and um, that's kind of the... Uh, it's, it's sort of implied, it's not explicit in any sort of uh, definite terms, uh, just to be redundant. Um, but certainly, um, there's a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of things that kind of come out of this uh, random acts of comedy. Uh, you know, a lot of really good stuff. Um, the first thing is the kind of, it's also implied that uh, this is the ultimate pinnacle in the Delaware Dan Empire, in the career of Delaware Dan. He's established uh, very, uh, very powerfully the Temple of Marketing, which uh, you know exists in audio form as Comedy Volume Three, Random Acts of Comedy Volume Three, which is a closed loop. Random Acts of Comedy Volume Three, 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 Random Acts of Comedy Volume Three. And from this, this is sort of the epicenter of Delaware Dan. From this, uh, you know, you get uh, Delaware Dan Street Team, where they go around tagging Delaware Dan all through downtown. And, um, you know, just write Delaware Dan, just kind of spread the word that people, you know, it really, uh, it makes the streets legal. Uh, that's the for one. The second thing is uh, Prayer Force One, uh, originally known as Prayer Force Zero. Uh, but, you know, you got to start somewhere in uh, zero you start out with zero which is basically a circle which represents the totality of all existence and uh, so you go from from that through that uh, from zero to one so it's prayer force one which is helping you and your family with anything you possibly could have you know uh, any problem you could possibly have through marketing uh, there was a also a presentation in Newark of uh, March 2019 that ties in with this temple of marketing theory uh, but first, we're going to hear a little bit of Comedy Volume 3. Comedy Volume 3, presented by Bayview Bunky. Bayview Bunky. 
you may hire someone in Delaware who can solve your problems, and I know that he might be a good problem solver. I'm not trying to speak ill of that person or do him disservices. But baby bunkies, we can solve your problem right here in Maryland. Don't go to Delaware. Hey there folks, it's, it has come to our attention that attention customers of Delaware Dan Incorporated LLC, it has come to our attention that there is a spank devil in the freeze aisle. Thank you. Does your family suffer from sudden tooth shatter syndrome when ingesting yoni eggs from a touring band that played your kid's bar mitzvah? No problem. Call Delaware Dan at 302 424 420 424 422 See what, see what I mean? Doesn't it, doesn't it kind of sound like you're in a temple? You know, it's got that kind of, you know, temple kind of vibe, you know? Alright, this is called the Backroom Interview Ad uh, Soiled Couch Edit. Uh, you know, hence the Soiled Couch is a backroom edit, you know, kind of it's kind of business casual, business sexual, you know what I'm saying? It kind of speaks to the, speaks to the parts of shit. Shut the, alright. It kind of speaks to the, you know, people become suddenly aroused because of business and all that. And, uh, you know, power and money, um, you know, they're very, uh, very, uh, you know, they can, uh, they can put a little bit of sweat on your collar, if you know what I'm saying. But the main thing about them, they don't really exist for that long. You only got them while you're alive and... And the thing is, life is uh, pretty, pretty short, and, uh, you know, that's just the fucking goddamn truth. Hey there, folks, it's Della and Dan again, with yet, a, uh, yet again another announcement. Does your family suffer from specific voice command bubbled by the genital board of, on the mini version of a Don Henley covering Brian Adams? This thing's a shangri -La? Shangri-La! Huh! She said. No problem. Call now with a touch tone phone, and when they also had too much motor to prep Cook's fingernails after a late night soiree involving the prosecution committee that led the dad in swinging, then call Delaware Dan at 302 420 Call Delaware Dan. There's been some people that kind of are a little critical of the amount of uh, you know, reverb there, but that's just because it's Delaware Dan's voice echoing through the halls of the Temple of Marketing. So that's why you got that. So, you know, that's another uh, that's another uh, perspective thing. Uh, we now turn our attention back to Lionel Lingstrom. I really don't have anything to say. I just, um, you know, I'm uh, kind of running out of steam at this point. But, uh, you know, if you, if you want to keep going, that's, uh, that's totally fine with me. Uh, but, you know, I am Lionel, the Liberty Loan Shark Linkstrom, and, uh, you know, what that means is that, you know, Liberty ain't free. You got you to gotta get it on loan from Lionel, the Liberty Loan Shark, and uh, Linkstrom. That's me, Lionel, the... Lionel, the... That's me, So that's another big, uh, you know, kind of element there, the feedback loop, whether it be, uh, through, you know, through a never-ending uh, delay that kind of maxes out or some feedback through the microphone or maybe patching things in the wrong way on a uh, going through the mixer. You know, you got one channel plugged into the output and then boom, all, you, all of a sudden you got all kinds of crazy bleep loop sounds like that.
So, you know, they, you do all kinds of stuff. Do what you want. It's Delaware Dan. Anyways, here's another message from Baby Bunky. This one, I'm going to get a little bit wild. Steamroller, midnight stroller. What they've been saying must be true. Red Hot Mama, Velvet Charmer, times to come pay your dues. And it's like, it pauses, but then it kicks in, you know what I'm saying? Maybe you've seen ads on other competitors, and they say they can beat my deals. Well, I'm telling you what, I'm Baby Bunky, and I will beat their deal. Bring their deal into me. I'll talk about it with you, and then we'll decide who's got a better deal. I bet it's me, because I'm Baby Bunky. Um, I've been served. Okay. Ooh, me, me. No, I don't want one. Me, me, me. All right, Liz. You've been served. Come on. Wait, just wait a second. No, 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 no. Hang it up. On. Fill out the survey. You've been served. You've all been served. You've been served. I've served you. Andrew. You've been served. <laughs> Do y'all want to be served? I can. Okay. To zeros at home, you've been served. Do you serve cheeseburgers? Uh, I, I used to. I used to. Do. Oh. I've now I work at a health food store. I only got three left. That's good. <laughs> Frank, you've been served. Yep. Oh, you got one. Taylor? Oh. <laughs> So, these are audio clips from the first ever Delaware Dan live presentation. I was given on the University of Delaware campus in Newark, Delaware. And if you can hear, there's some pretty fundamental truths going on. A lot of uh, information is being disseminated. This is uh, really indicative of Delaware Dan's, um, you know, marketing um, prowess. Uh, his uh, just the in, uh, adeptitude of uh, which he now he's shaking his butt. So, uh, you know, he's he's known for uh, you know having a very youthful approach. Uh, you know, um, approaching the youth uh, through marketing. Uh, ability. This, this is just, uh, you know, this is the kind of stuff that's been was getting churned out of the Delaware uh, Temple of Marketing at that time. It's just the, the pure gold. Now this part has a uh, new meaning because uh. Part. You know, uh, post uh, COVID pandemic, you know, coughing publicly is no longer encouraged. So. So you know, Delaware Dan really ahead of his time here. Uh, you know, just Delaware Dan, this is doing well. I got more legal documents to read you right now. Yes! I'm just kidding. I'm not kidding. Do not. Wait, wait, wait. Committing assault and battery at the Dunkin' Festival in Ryeville, New York, where 
So you really can hear the Coachella influence. So yeah, Delaware Dan is leading his first uh, uh, action as Prayer Force Zero, later to become Prayer Force One, and we're watching this live as it unfolded in 2019, January, or March. So, it's the moment where, what does all this mean? I mean, you know, we we are we found out where Delbert Dan's from. We know, uh, we know what he did. But you know, what does this mean now? What is he doing now? And you know, um, you know, previously uh, mentioned. Um, oh, we got to take a quick break. Currently wanted. Hungry guys, if you have the whereabouts of Tan and Ron, please call 302 911 6911. Wanted fugitives Tan and Ron of Hungry Guys, for wanted for B&E, call Delaware Dan Street Force Hotline. Call 302 6911 420. So yeah, basically, uh, you know, what does all this shit mean? And, uh, you know, um, what I can say, again, and I'll keep repeating this because I can't say a lot, but I'm going to say a lot. And it might not be what you find to be coherent or normal. And uh, that's, um, that's kind of how this works. And um, the voice of who you're hearing right now, I don't know. That's up for you to decide. Maybe it's just a little voice inside your head. Maybe you're going fucking nuts all of a sudden. Um, we do have an interview coming up with Beef Long Stretch. Um, that's going to be very enlightening. And uh, here it is. Interview with Beef Long Stretch. Yo. So I'm Beef Long Stretch. Um, I'm not necessarily a human being. I am a little kitten cat that has been warped by the interdimensional and it's kind of hard to talk through this microphone and I got a little kitty voice. Well, that's uh, it's very interesting beef, um, if that's your real name. Uh, main question for you, what's this all about? I mean, what's what's Delaware Dan mean to you and your family? Uh, basically, it's... Uh, I could sum it up in one word, and that word is... Uh, excrement. Hey, you know, I, uh, I think we can all relate to that. I mean, there definitely seems to be a, uh, a semi-voluntary slash involuntary release of, uh, you know, a lot of waste. Um, and that leads into, uh, you know, looking forward, do you think Delaware Dan's going to be getting into the business of waste management? Ah, uh, that's a great question. Uh, you know, waste management is generally reserved for, uh, you know, gangsters and, uh, Anthony Soprano Jr. type people. Uh, I think that, you know, and I don't think that Albert Dan has any sort of gangster qualities. <laughs> if you ask me. That's... Oh, well, you know, that is that is highly debatable, and, um, you know, we're just going to have to wait and see. So stay tuned for more from Beef Longstretch. He's got an upcoming uh, show. And, uh, yes, if you know of any of the whereabouts of uh, the brothers Tan and Ron, um, you know, they, uh, they, are on, or they are on the Ron, so to speak, as in, uh, you know, they're wanted by Delaware Dan. They're wanted by... Uh, both, uh, you know, um, Ronald McDon, which is, uh, 
I don't know if that's even a real person. I don't think any of these people are real. So just, uh, you know, whether or not this is loose fiction or, you know, loose narratives, experimental kind of improvisation. Uh, you know, what do you think, Beef? I think it's all bullshit. And that's our interview with Beef Longstretch. Back to you. Yeah, um, okay, we didn't really learn anything from that, um, but yeah, you know, uh, a lot of enlightening stuff going on, um, you know, we are going to actually uh, be moving along in our programming, um, speaking of, uh, you know, Hungry Guys, there is a uh, going to be a very special announcement on uh, today's episode. Um, so, you know, I hope you're just, uh, waking up well to this, and this has all been some kind of fucked up dream. Ah, yes. The it was all a dream trope. Classic trope and narrative. Uh, kind of, uh, takes away any sort of importance that happened for, uh, dream states are not really real. But then again, look around you when you're driving. Is any of that really real? <laughs> <laughs> Hey there, folks. It's Delaware Dan. I'm a gangster with another announcement. Delaware Dan, another announcement. I'm a gangster. Delaware Dan with another announcement. Another announcement. Another announcement. Delaware Does your family Dan. suffer from the lack of sublime awareness of your own concept? We already did that one. I'm a gangster. Delaware Dan. Delaware Dan. Delaware Dan. Delaware Dan. Gangster. Delaware Dan. Dan. Gangster. Does your family suffer from the joyous constipation of Jared Kushner's stink face permanently endowing him? With a life full of material pleasures and even more abundant feelings of sexual inadequacy and self-contempt, then call 302-69-666 for Delaware Dan Prayer Force One, a prayer group known for its, uh, gangster, adrenal, oh, advanced penetration techniques that involve spray-on prayer solutions, aka sprayer. That can be downloaded directly to your iPhone or iApp business technology solutions so that one day Jared Kushner may finally take that dump that will free his soul and become the man he was born to be. Called Delaware Dan. He will never be Delaware Dan. But maybe on a deeper level all of us are connected. And in all honesty, maybe what we all could use right now is the immeasurable peace of a satisfying bowel movement called Delaware Dan's Prayer Force One for this exact thing. Apply sprayer to the buttocks, to the anus hole, and let the let the turds fly. Delaware Dan. This message brought to you by Bayview Bunky. The thing about problems is they're hard to solve. I knew that. I'm Bayview Bunky. All day I sit around and I solve problems. And when people come to me, their problems are solved. You can't call me on the phone. I don't have a phone number. I don't operate like that. You gotta talk to me face to face, one on one. You may be asking yourself, how are you hearing me talking to you right now? Well, I really don't know. You just come to Bayview. Bayview Bunkies. Present day. So, uh, you know, I was real backed up. I was bunged up, so to speak, and I, you know, I couldn't uh, make the bowel movement, and I, the, the bowels were not moving. You know, I applied Sprayer Force One to my asshole, and yeah, the, I, I can't stop shooting turds like it's uh, bullets coming out of an AR-15. I'm shooting everyone. I'm shooting everyone on the left. I'm shooting everyone on the right. I'm shooting everyone in the middle. I'm shooting some people above, some people slightly below, some people behind them. So I'm shooting myself. I shot my own butt cheeks off with my own turds. Air Force One, I Delaware Dan. No problem. Delaware Dan. Delaware Dan. 
podcast brought to you by Delaware Dan Industries. 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 Oh yeah, Delaware Dan. Hungry guys. What? All right, we're back. We uh, we're gonna play the tape for you guys. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're it's gonna, gonna be things. great. It's gonna be amazing. So, oh Stay tuned. Uh, we we got a couple. <coughs> That's right. Back at a, we're at a different residence. Uh, we're down at the uh, the boys. It's at the boys. The boys residence. The boys. And, uh, <laughs> close call last time. <laughs> for, for, for those of you yeah, previously sweat my ass along, off. There's a running fun going time. plot to these hungry guys segments. Uh, Tan has a couple things to say about it. Basically, uh, so uh, you know. Okay, what, what's there to say about it? I mean, you, you come you on know, the show, we all got different opinions, okay? We all got different opinions. You do a about terrible this job at being you know, this, this that's, that's your problem. You, you stick your sauce problem. on this, this your problem. show, okay? It's my show. You, you suck in the host. Come on, you spread you your sauce all over my face. You can't make sauce. my nose and all this shit. I'll rub sauce all over your fucking face all fucking day, asshole. So anyways, we're going to roll the tape. We're going to roll the tape. All right, all right. I got the tape in. We're the Super Mario. We're the We're Hungry Guys. Hungry Guys. And we're rolling a tape that was found, uh, Delaware Dan recorded uh, while schmuck. in custody. Uh, was still unknown um, assailant. We think his name is Ronald McDonald. I think it's Mike um, McDonald. It's Michael McDonald. You can't go wrong. Uh, that's your opinion. Okay. Not an opinion. It's a fact. Okay. So we're going to listen to it now. Uh, roll the tape. Right. Tan, okay. put the sauce down. Right. Roll the tape. I'll put the sauce up your ass and roll this tape. Here we go. Folks, still we're doing recording from jail. Uh, pretty much, uh, yeah, you know, being provided with the basic amenities such as water. Uh, I get to eat some rice uh, once a week, and uh, you know all this, uh, all this sort of. It kind of feels like austerities. You know, they talk about austerities, you know, in the East and stuff, and all survivors. You ever see that show Survivor? But think about that show quite a bit. Anyways, I'm down. I don't even know what city I'm in at this point. I, I was arrested coming back on 95. Um, I was passing through the uh, the Perryville uh, toll booth, and uh, you know I, I, you're not supposed to pull overhead and go in southbound. But I, I didn't realize that because uh, it's kind of a long story. But you know I was up in Delaware. I got um, you know I wasn't supposed to be there. It's kind of a dodgy situation, and uh, pretty much um, yeah pulled over because I had in my mind thought I had to pull over, but I, I didn't. So um, but anyways, I'm recording this from jail right now, and. Um, you know, uh, my captor has he, he, not revealed his identity, but he has been kind enough to provide me with some tapes from Baby Bunky, kind of uh, clearing the air from, you know, what happened last week, and uh, you know, had a lot of time to think about it. Um, y- you know, uh, so but hopefully, uh, yeah, you know, um, I'm starting to feel like I'm kind of tripping off the acid all the time because you know the lack of nutrients and and um, you know. Um, Water. I mean, I get water daily, but I, you know, I don't really get in the rice once a week, and it's kind of fucked up. He, um, so, you know, anyways, uh, he's letting me record this tape right now, and I gotta slide it back under the thing. I only got three seconds left, so um, basically, it's over, Dan. Down the street, Delaware Dean, swimming, swimming in the drowning, swimming in the drowning in the, in the, in the harbor, Delaware Dean, Chesapeake Bay, Delaware Dean, Delaware River, Europe. Yeah. Uh, Austerities uh, are Delaware Dean, meditation in a jail, prison time. I don't know what I did, I was on drugs, PCP, meditation, in a jail, Alcatraz, in of the 
East Coast going down for 95. This is the part where I realized that I'm Delaware Dan and I gave birth to myself over and 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 over again. Well, was that even real? What the fuck did we just listen to? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if you're real. Am I real? I mean, you know, what the fuck is going on? What did we just listen to? Fucking crazy. I'm getting so enraged just trying to figure out what the fuck we just fucking heard. I'm having the opposite kind of effect. uh, I don't know. Pretty shocking. Making me feel pretty chill. I'm actually feeling pretty relaxed right now. Is he? Pretty. Is he from? Delaware? Is he from Baltimore? I mean, he's, so he's Delaware, Delaware Dan, Dan, but he's know. from Baltimore? He's I from, mean, like, he's in Baltimore. this got fraud written all over it. It's, it's definitely got fraud written Ron, all over it. Ron, this got fraud written all over it. I know, it. Don, I, just, I know. I don't know. I don't know what to do about this anymore. I, don't, I think I'm going to give up making sauce. No, come on, don't do that, Ron. Don't I, I got to do it. I no, just, I don't no. know. I don't know what to believe anymore, Ron. Believe in the sauce. This is all, oh shit, here he comes. Oh shit. It's Delaware Dan Justice. Being swiftly served with Sprayer Force One, a spray on prayer. Now, in addition to Delaware Dan Prayer Force, Delaware Dan Street Team. Grab your graffiti markers and let's go downtown. We're going to paint the town Dan. You are under arrest. Hey folks, does your family suffer from the guy standing in line in front of you at the Chick-fil-A talking about flood the zone theory being used as a disinformation tactic in combination and res- irresponsible faith and scam accounts such as QAnon which serve as tactical psychological operations whose sole purpose is to sow public unrest and destabilization of the entire United States? That guy, you should probably listen to that guy. Delaware Dan is here to tell you to call 302 60 It was Delaware Dan that was standing in on can you hear me this is a disclaimer don't listen don't listen to q and i'm listening to delaware dan that's what we meant in this in this section a little bit of confusion there do not listen to q and i he's a fake piece of shit listen to delaware dan because fuck you the line and is the guy mentioned in the in the thing so call delaware dan at 302 69 420 we'll be right back after this brief message Is it true that my deals can't be beat? Is it true I can solve a problem? That's very true. Don't go to Delaware. Go to Baby Bunkies. Where is Baby? You may ask yourself. Well, you're going down Eastern Avenue. You're in Hollandtown. You hit Greektown. You go under the bridges. And then, before you get to Dundalk, Baby Bunkies. All right, so uh, where does that leave us now? I mean, uh, you know, okay, uh, we learned um, some stuff about Delaware Dan's past. We learned how it led up to the stuff at the beginning of this of this uh, episode. You know, um, you know, we we ultimately saw the we, we saw the ultimate demise of the uh, you know the hungry guys. Um, you know, in their foolish ways. Um, you know, they should have just stuck to you know making sauce and keeping it themselves but they had to go and run in their mouths and we silenced them uh the way we silence uh anyone who dares uh speak against delaware dan so um you know uh as of now we're pretty confident delaware dan uh is you know alive and well um despite the covid19 thing and you know, we just hope we can put that behind. Uh, Delaware Dan hopes that people can just put that behind them. So, um, you know, just uh, take this uh, one day at a time. Um, there is something worth pointing out, however. Uh, Baby Bunky. Uh, Delaware, is, Delaware Dan is known to have a uh, have had a pretty extensive um, kind of tumultuous relationship with his uh, sponsor and friend. Uh, there was a couple moments uh, there where Delaware Dan ran out of funding. 
and um, you know had to resort to uh, outside f- uh, sponsorship. And that's kind of the beginning of Baby Bunky. And uh, as to whether or not uh, Delaware Dan is even from Delaware, that w- there will be a birth certificate being produced at some point. Um, and, uh, you know, there will be more information about, uh, you know, whether or not there are imposter Delaware Dan. And this is something that's touched up, uh, touched upon in this next clip, uh, is featured in the experimental marketing strategies of the new age. What are the most cutting edge, uh, business synergy technologies to come from Delaware Dan Industries? And, uh, you can hear this clip. He, he touches on, uh, d- doing the due diligence as far as Delaware Dan goes. So, uh, here we go. Hey there, folks. If you and your family suffer from a distinct sense that the only option is to flex and busting out while waiting in line at the McDonald's Taco Bell Combo on Milltown Road next to the house formerly owned by Stevie Nicks fan Old Man Joe Danning Field of Monk Quotes, no problem. Call Delaware Dan at 302 69. 666 302 225 420 Delaware D. Okay, wait a minute. I uh, I think I got this clip wrong. Uh, that is not the one I intended to show, yet illuminating uh, Delaware Dan, uh, also master of telemarketing. Um, this is a uh, you know, it is a presentation that has um, been simultaneously um, you know, presented in a live forum setting but also has been sent simultaneously to everyone's voicemail um, just with the click of a button. And that's the kind of advanced synergy technology that we're dealing with Delaware Dan here. I mean, it's pretty pretty cutting-edge shit. So, you know, it's pretty fucked up. But uh, anyways, regarding the imposters, Delaware Dan is quoted as having said the following. Two seconds until impact, where your call will connect. Please stand by your touch-tone phone. And now a message from our esteemed sponsors, Delaware Dan Law Firm. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you standing there. It's Delaware Dan Legal Firm and Attorneys at Large, I mean Law. If you and your family suffer from the fact that there are many clones and imposters emulating Delaware Dan who are currently being... Oh, shit. They're currently being tracked and eliminated by our armed litigation team who were all drunk on the, t- on the Denny's near the Dover prostitution sting operation being conducted by New York City police officials who went rogue and began cannibalizing. No problem. Call Delaware Dan's Pork Fund at 302-69 at hotmail.com. Call Delaware Dan. No problem. You and-, and I know you heard that. All you Delaware Dan imposters out there, you better cower in fear because I'm coming for you, motherfuckers. I'm coming for you. Sp- spare for First one is coming for you, Delaware Dan! And now, Baby Bunky once again. There are different kind of problems a person can have. I knew that. I'm Baby Bunky. I solve problems all day. Come to me, we'll talk about your problem, and I'll solve your problem. It won't be a problem after you come to Baby Bunkies, because there's no problem. No problem. Baby Bunkies. So yeah, that pretty much sums up uh, a little bit of the Delaware Dan uh, unnecessary aggression. Um, you know, something that's been very well documented by the intelligence community. Uh, the other thing is here is to, worth mentioning. Uh, you, you definitely detect a little bit of animosity, and um, you know, starting to pick up kind of a bad vibe. Might have to touch on that next time because uh, you know. Seem to be out of time, but uh, thanks for tuning in with us. Uh, we learned a lot about Delaware Dan, what he's been up to last couple months. Um, you know, we hope you're alive and well. Uh, again, not sure uh, how to credit um, this voice that you're currently hearing. You know, is it Delaware Dan? Is it me? Is it you? Is it us? Is it nobody? Is it simultaneously every sentient being at the same time speaking this exact phrase right now i don't know probably not um but you know thanks for tuning in and uh stay tuned for a bonus song based on the hit hb uh netflix series bandersnatch uh black mirror by bandersnatch is about bandersnatch make a choice in time on the land, free will, kill your dad, smoke some grief now, kill your man, and the snatch, or the snatch, and go back.
Delaware Dan is registered trademark of Delaware Dan Law Firm LLC, a fictitious limited liability corporation and media conglomerate composed of America's top business solutions and technologies Delaware Dan Industries. Featured in this podcast is Insan Angel, comprised by members Any Ivory Block and Matthew Norman. All rights reverse Delaware Dan 2020. Fuck with Delaware Dan and find out. Thank <laughs> you.